happy St. Patrick's Day, YouTube. And although you may think that I am completely not celebrating the holiday based on the top half here where I'm all in black, in actuality, I'm actually pimping my Floggin' Molly t-shirt. You can't be more Irish than that. You got your Floggin' Molly, I got some green in the flag there, you got your Irish flag, and you got an Irish punk band. Ah, see? You thought. You thought, but you were wrong, weren't ya? This is an absolutely beautiful day outside. I thought I would take Miss Rory here to Red Rocks. It's one of the places in Colorado that you can actually bring dogs. And I thought I would show you guys Red Rocks. It's a Colorado slash Denver staple. And this is why we're going out today. Look how pretty it is. Look at that blue sky, man. Ah, gorgeous. All right, but before our adventure, we have to go into the cinema grill because my husband may or may not have left his credit card here last night. To the cinema grill. All right, so no luck on that. They wanted his ID. We're getting closer to the mountains. They're right there. I forgot that spring in Denver means construction. Traffic. Construction. This is my flagging Molly plane. Alright, so we're almost there. Right on that mountain is Red Rocks. So if you ever have a, if you ever watch a DVD show from the show, like I have an Incubus show on that stage, it's right over there. And I can dun 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 Seven drunk and pirates for the seven, that makes sense. Those mountains still have snow on them. A little bit. A little bit of snow. Cool. Alright, so I just had a super blonde moment, you hear that? I unplugged my Pandora phone from my auxiliary outlet on my car, and right as I opened my car door, they started playing. So I got all excited thinking there was like some sort of bagpipe thing going on in Red Rock. Oh, I can't believe I just did that. I seriously got like all excited. I'm like, oh, bagpipes! They're doing bagpipes in Red Rocks, it's gonna be so cool! And it was my cell phone. This is the hard about, hardest part about coming to concerts here. This is no exaggeration. We are going pretty much straight up. You get winded really quickly because it's higher altitude out here too, and this is going straight up. I'm letting Rory pull me. Pull me, girl. Take me. Work yourself out. You do the work. All right, so we made it up the ramp. Now we have all those stairs go up. Oh, it never ends. There's the stage up close. And then there's the seats. She's tugging me. She's on a mission to get out of here. Come just over, let's go, Mom. No. We're not going there. Come on. This is why it's hard to take her places, because she gets really anxious in new situations. And uh, she doesn't like car rides. She gets anxious in places. She can't just have fun and relax. Like she wants to bolt right now. She wanted to bolt out of the car. Now that we're here, she wants to bolt out and get back home. It makes it very difficult. She was six months old when we got her. We rescued her. So I don't know what's what's going on there mentally, but she's very skittish in new situations. It's it very hard to take her on adventures. All right, and then way over there, that's Denver. Those skyscrapers are Denver, so it's a pretty cool view. When we're here for concerts, you can see the city lights, so it's really pretty. It's pretty much the best venue ever. It's not so bad, huh, Carly? So Rory, which bands are you hoping to see today, huh? Expecting someone good to come along? She's very curious about this jogger girl. Very curious. What's she doing? So we've seen three shows here. We saw The Killers in September 2009. 
we saw Floggy Molly, I think October 2009. And then we saw STP, Stone Temple Pilots, last September. So, three awesome concerts. I will say the Killers were the most awesome. And I'll actually put in a couple clips from the show so you can see what it's like to see a show here. So, those are coming up next. <laughs> cute just sitting like that. She's being very patient at the moment. Check it out the girl that's over there. Rory! What you doing silly? That's me from the top. Denver way over there. I have to say I am part Irish and this music uh, I just love it. It just goes straight to my soul. Makes me happy. I should listen to it more often than just St. Patrick's Day, let me tell you. Because it just brings a smile to my face just as soon as it comes on the radio, so. For bagpipes. Doing a jig. Got this one for Jeremy the last time. <laughs> Driving this way because I wanted to show you this. This is one of the coolest parts of coming to Red Rocks. Signs of Dinosaur Ridge there. When we first moved here, we were able to drive on that road that went up that cliff. And there's actually dinosaur it's actually dinosaur footprints along the side of that mountain. I guess now you just have to park and hike it the whole way. So I'm sure I'll do that on another vlog in the future, but it's really cool. You can actually see the footprints from the dinosaurs. Very nifty. Right across the street from Red Rock. Uh, this is a mandatory stop every time. Gotta come to Ozzy's. So this is Guinness Stout Chocolate Chip Ice Cream. From Ozzy's. Hmm. So see, I'm continuing with the St. Patrick's Day theme. I got some Guinness. Very interesting. Oh great, the Quinn Stefani song is now on Denver radio stations. 
Okay, so now, part two of today, I am going to dinner with my friend Amy, who worked with me at DSW, I guess over the summer really, and then she got a new job and left, but we haven't seen each other in like a couple months because of that. She wanted to see me before I left for my new job, and I'm pretty sure that's her texting me. So anyway, we are going to Bojo's. Bojo's is a famous Colorado pizza place. In fact, if you watch Man Vs. Food, I know he's done a Bojo's challenge. So if you want to look up Man Vs. Food Bojo's, you're going to find it. But they have delicious pizza. So we're going to get some pizza and celebrate St. Patrick's Day in style. Oh man, you can't read the sign. Well, it's Bojo's. I myself have decided I need to go to Ireland. Um, I've had plans to go to Ireland in the past and they've never gone through. And I currently have a pact with my best friend Sarah that we're going to go to Europe. I think next year is our plan. We're going to go to Europe. Before the world ends in 2012, I'm going to Ireland. And she actually lived in Ireland for a semester studying abroad. So that is number one on my list. I gotta go to Ireland, people. Gotta happen.